Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalam ala ashraf al-anbiyati wal mufsalin. Nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. My name is Dr. Hernan Walalupe. Um, like many of the other presenters and, and, t- and speakers, I am very honored, walhamdulillah, to be part of the National Dawah Academy and their effort to educate others about how to give dawah effectively. Alhamdulillah for me, I embraced Islam uh, nearly 20 years ago on September 11th, believe it or not. And Alhamdulillah, I was the first of my family to embrace Islam, my parents being from Ecuador and uh, being a Latino in in the community and, and trying to uh, bring, uh, bring awareness of Islam to the, co- the community, that's been my main effort, my main focus for these past few years. And um, trying to, inshallah, bring a connection between our cultural um, you know, upbringing, our cultural history, and identifying what that is in relation to Islam. So for me, alhamdulillah, that's been my main effort in running uh, our organization, um, in participating in volunteering, for example, with ICNA, um, as well as other organizations, for example, the, the nonprofit that we run with Alamos Islam and creating content for the Latino community. With this specific course for me, Alhamdulillah, I have the honor of facilitating the course on emotional intelligence this upcoming semester with the National Dow Academy. And I'm very excited to share and learn with you all about this very important topic. And this topic is, is a very popular topic in today's t- in time, and it's been labeled actually the new IQ. So to give you a real quick, quick, a real quick, what is emotional intelligence? Well, it's the ability to be aware, control and manage our emotions, uh, as well as be aware of the emotions of other people. And how is this so beneficial for Dawa? Well, when you think about Dawa, and, and it is an exchange, whether it's indirectly or directly um, between two people, right? And specifically with, an, with emotional intelligence, the interaction with two people, um, it's the messenger and the one receiving the message. So if you think about that dynamic, it's an exchange that has emotion, many emotions that come into play. And if you think about, say, for example, a, a giving an individual uh, a dawah and the person that say is a little hostile or aggressive, or doesn't want to hear what you want to say, the emotions that may potentially be arise and be present during that time. So it's important for you as a da'i to learn how to control your emotions at that moment so that you can still effectively deliver the message of Islam and give da'wah to that individual. And even if it's a positive uh, encounter, how do you effectively pass on the message It can lead potentially to that person maybe embracing Islam at that moment? So we wanna take the opportunity this next semester to learn about what is emotional intelligence? How is it important in Dawa and learn about self-awareness and controlling our own emotions. And how did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam display his EQ, his emotional intelligence? What were some of his strategies and methodologies when giving Dawa and dealing uh, with his own emotions in that particular moment? And one instance that I wanted to share with you all was a, a, a very popular uh, encounter with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and, and we, we pretty much know this story, I'm sure everybody knows this story about the old lady who heard about the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but from a negative connotation, she heard all the negativity and uh, hearing the, the people of, of Quraysh uh, calling the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at the time uh, a magician and she didn't want to be in that environment so she decided to leave Mecca, took her bags and wanted to leave Mecca and a man approached her and asked her if he can help her on her way to her destination. And during that trip, the, the, the lady would be speaking ill about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this man continued to be patient and listen and, and just and, and accompanied her on that trip. And once they got to the destination, the lady was so fascinated by this person's persona, his, his well-being, his well mannerisms, his mannerisms, and um, his his active listening that she asked him, who are you? And he said, I am Muhammad, the one that you've been speaking of. And she was, and she responded, if you are Muhammad, then take me back 
to Mecca, right? So this goes to show you the level of emotional intelligence that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had. And we want to look at those situations, both from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's life and his companions and how they dealt with these aspects in giving da'wah. And that's one of the main focuses of our course and in strengthen our own and strengthen our own emotional intelligence so that we can become better leaders in the field of da'wah, improve our decision-making when giving da'wah, and help control our stress factors and improve our overall ability to deliver the message of Islam. So I look forward, inshallah ta'ala, to seeing many of you to, for this class, many of you with this class, and take the opportunity right now so that we can, you know, to register and we can learn together at that time. Register soon. And don't be late, insha'Allah ta'ala. Barakallahu fikum wa jazakum Allahu khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah.